Hi, I'm here to show you how to have a fun craft with your grandchild or child for that matter. And the, again, the key to any kind of project is being prepared. So let me tell you how I'm setting it up before Daisy gets here. I have my wax paper and I'm laying it out. Normally I'd probably do this in the kitchen, but for, for to show you, I'm doing it here on this table. Cover your table so it will be easy cleanup. Okay, what I did is I went to the Dollar Tree. I found these for a dollar. I could have made my own Rice Krispie treats, but this time I'm opting just to purchase them. I bought a, a whole sec, a whole little bundle of popsicle sticks. So what I did was unwrap them, simply stick into your Rice Krispie treat, and I bought this little styrofoam um, square cube for a dollar. Stick them all in there, be prepared. Have this done before you get started with your child. Um, I also bought these little chocolate cichlids. I bought some nerds, opened them up, spread them out so I'm ready. I have a container of the fun little Valentine sprinkles and of course, your traditional conversation hearts. The next thing I have, oh, also another way if you really wanna make them fancy, make your own Rice Krispie treats, cut them out with a heart shape, put them on a stick. That's even a better way, but for this, for this time, I'm just doing this that I've already purchased. Then you wanna get some chocolate. I got some white chocolate here and this is the easy way to do it. You just microwave it, keep it stirred. I am going to be keeping it warm in a glass of uh, or a bowl of wa warm water on the side so that Daisy can take time to decorate her Rice Krispie treats. Also, here's a little trick to know. If it starts to get a little bit stiff, add a little bit of vegetable shortening, the, um, the Crisco type, the solid type, mix it in. It will make it creamy and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to go get this melted up, find Daisy, and we're going to start to make our Rice Krispie Treat Valentine specials.